the years, I've tried almost every sport you can think of in Crocs. From Olympic sports like track to even extreme sports like skydiving. And make sure you stay to the end to see something I'd never try in Crocs again. But before we get there, let's start with Olympic sports. Every sport has a shoe to increase an athlete's performance. Runners have running shoes, and skateboarders even have skating shoes. Athletes literally spend thousands of dollars on footwear in order to be the best at their sport. But I only have my Crocs. So today I'll be trying to successfully compete in six different Olympic sports, wearing only my Crocs. And I have so much faith in these shoes that if my Crocs break at all, or I fail more sports than I succeed, I will never wear Crocs again. So up first is track, and I must complete three things. 100 meter dash, hurdles, and the long jump. Three, two, one, go! And time. Oh, my shoe almost fell off on the first challenge. What do you think you got? I don't know, like 20 seconds? 14.4. 14, 14 seconds. seconds. To give you guys perspective right now, Hussein Bolt broke that world record at nine seconds. So I was only a little bit shorter than that. Wow. All right, up next is hurdles. I placed four hurdles in a row, and all I have to do is successfully jump all of them in Crocs. Here we go. My feet got messed up, so I ended up flipping. The one thing that you did to recorrect that was flipping. <laughs> I guess so. The final thing of track is long jump. <laughs> so I guess I just gotta beat that. That's a long jump. That was good, that was a good joke. <laughs> it made the vlog. Now running track in Crocs may have looked pretty easy, but this next Olympic sport is gonna be way harder. The next Olympic sport is skateboarding. Skateboarding just recently got added to the Olympics, and now I'm gonna try to do it in Crocs. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna try three different challenges with skateboarding. Dropping in, grinding on something, and then finally jumping off a ledge. I'm gonna die. What am I doing? Come on, man, you got it. You're wearing the Crocs in sport mode. I feel like I just dropped it from like a 12 foot ramp. If I fail any of these three challenges, I fail the entire sport of skateboarding. So the next challenge is a ledge. So my goal, jump on, jump off, and land successfully. That's too easy. It's not really too Do easy. Do a kickflip after. Kickflip? Yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Yes! So we got the ledge, we got the drop in. Now it's time to grind. Uh, Drew? On the skateboard, Nick. Oh, I was excited we were going to the club. <laughs> now grinding is one of the hardest tricks. You can either do it on a rail or you can do it on a box. But if you watch skateboarding at all, this is normally when people have the most fails. How many attempts I get? Three attempts. Oh. Oh, you about ate it. Two more. Oh, that was awful! <laughs> Fail, huh? That's a fail. And remember, if I fail more sports than I succeed, I can never wear Crocs again. The next Olympic sport is ping pong. I actually didn't realize how big ping pong is in the Olympics, but it's one of the biggest sports. So I'm gonna be playing three people, and if I lose any of the matches, I completely fail the sport of ping pong. And my first opponent is Britt. Hello. So each game, we're gonna be playing to 11. You ready? Ready? <laughs> and it hit your head. No warm up or anything? <laughs> 1-0. Game point. Let's go! I'm gonna go practice ping pong on my VR for an hour. <laughs> Make the best croc win. Hardest game I've played yet. Respect. 
ping pong was a success, it's time to step it up to the bigger version of ping pong, which is tennis. So we're gonna do first team to four points. Drew, you know it's like, it goes by like 15, 30, 40, deuce. So four points. Right, yeah, I guess. So it's gonna be me and Britt. Oh God. Versus Nick and Jaden. Baby, you got your Crocs? Right here, love. Right, serve it. I got it. Hit it down. the win on this one. I did score the winning point, so that Good means job. throws me dinner. What? The next Olympic sport is diving. The waist is gonna work, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna do a dive into the water. If my Crocs fall off, I lose. You're also not supposed to wear Crocs here, or GoPros, or film, so let's do this quick. So while I'm climbing up the stairs, risking getting kicked out of here, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. I might get banned from this place, but you guys subscribing will be all worth it. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, my crack fell off! Well, that was a fail. So the final Olympic sport I will be doing is gymnastics. Gymnastics is one of the biggest sports in the Olympics. That being because there are six events. The rings, parallel bars, pommel horse, high bar, vault, and floor. And to make it even harder, if I mess up any of the six events, I fail the entire sport of gymnastics. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Up next is the high bar. That's a high bar. Now we're going to the parallel bars. And stuck the landing. All right, and up next is pommel horse. When I did gymnastics when I was younger, this was the hardest one for me. I absolutely sucked at it, so. I'm just gonna give it my best. If you do that right now on the Crocs, I'll pay you $100. Okay. You believe in me, Britt? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm done with that. All right, up next is the vault. You must start from one side of the gym, run, hit the springboard, do a front handspring on this right here, and land right there. Oh. All right, there is now one event left, and this one is all about your feet and foot placement, and that's floor. So in order to successfully complete the floor event, I must do a tumbling pass to one corner, a small trick into a handstand, and then a final tumbling pass to the opposite corner. Yeah, wish me luck. Nick. I knew I could always believe in the Crocs. So I guess it is true. You don't need all those fancy shoes to do Olympic sports. You just need a nice pair of Crocs. The most extreme sports in the world, like cliff jumping, skydiving, and scootering, all require a very specific footwear. But I only have my Crocs. So I'm gonna be trying six extreme sports. And if I fail more sports than I succeed, I'll never wear Crocs again. Again, I've done this a lot. The first sport we are doing is hiking. Now this is not just an ordinary hike, this is an extreme hike. Now I know this may seem easy, but the most important part of hiking is the footwear you have. This footwear will determine whether you slip, fall, or worst case, break an ankle. So I have to be extra careful when doing this in Crocs. Most important part, we gotta put the sports in Croc mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous, man. Let's do it, let's do it. Do it. Nick! I didn't have enough time, man. I had to get the shot. This is where the hike starts, and we gotta go all the way down there. Oh. Oh. 
I'm getting no traction with my Crocs right now. This is so slippery. Oh. Everything seemed like it was going to plan until we ran into a very big problem. There's like no water right here. So you can walk across this to get up and around. That is not the case. We're gonna have to walk through the water to get across. You're dressed like you're going to like the club, bro. Are you ready? Ready this is crazy. Ready? We're gonna have to legit rock climb now. Oh. This is crazy, bro. Holy cow. Oh, we officially made it halfway. And the croc went through it. At least did not recreate anything you see in this video. It is done by trained professionals. My whole life training for this hike. Wow. That was a, probably one of the craziest hikes I've ever done. We all did a good job. Except Nick. <laughs> now I did a good job surviving the hike, but the next sport is gonna be much harder. And that's cliff jumping. Now what's crazy is that where we normally jump from is right where that waterfall is. So since we can't jump from there, we're gonna have to jump even higher, which is that rock right there. Hopefully it's a high road, man. Go take that high road, baby. So right now the guys are gonna depth check to make sure the water is deep enough to jump into. And before you know it, does it feel good? We're good to go. Who goes first? Uh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Not me. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hey, you're That's a low. Low road. I'll redeem myself on the next one though. Now I've successfully completed one sport in Crocs, but also failed one, which actually makes me a little concerned going into the next one. Scootering. And to help me is my good friend and professional scooter rider, Capered Funk. I'm retired. First trick I did when I got here, I face planted. <laughs> to be considered a real scooter rider, yeah. you have to do three things. All right. Starting with dropping in. Oh, wow. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That, you know, stop. What you want to do is commit in. Please stop, 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 stop. Why did I need a helmet? Oh! That was so scary. You almost got the best clip of your life. Lift the back wheel so it gets caught. Drop in, lift back wheel. Whoa! That's very impressive, actually. Stop, man. Thank you. Do you want your helmet back? For this next one, yeah. What's the next one? Thank you. How many tries do I get? You get one try. We need to land this. Faster. Oh! Wait! Just, why is he just good at everything? I actually <laughs> just did that. For the last thing, we're gonna do the hardest thing at the skate park. Yeah. And that's jumping this stair set. Oh wow. All of them? Do I have to do that trick specifically or just jump down? No, just jumping and you're certified scooter ride. Either go fast or don't do it at all. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. He's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you got it. Oh! Oh, so good. You're a certified croc scooter rider. Let's go. <laughs> After successfully completing another sport, that brings me to the next sport, which is tramp wall. And lucky for me, I have one in my front yard. Unlucky for me, I gotta do it in my Crocs. Good luck, man. Thanks, Jan. For tramp wall, it's very important to have shoes that will help you grip the wall. So since I'm doing this in Crocs, let's see how it goes. Give it a go. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Do a front flip. Oh. <laughs> front flip? Yeah. You do it. I'm gonna actually die. Oh God! How was that? Is it good or should I do one more? When you land, you have to push towards the wall. Push. Push to the wall. You're explaining it while you're flipping. 
Yeah. Come on, Jared. There you go. That one. Yeah. yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. But now you need to get to the top of that. I was pretty close to the top. Not so close. This is way different in Crocs. It's like I'm on a slip. Oh, yeah. oh, we both did the same They're similar both. job. We both killed it. Right, Nick? Yeah, man. <laughs> with my confidence up after completing another sport, it was time to redeem myself with the sport I failed in the past. Skateboarding. Here for redemption, Nick. Last time I did skateboarding, I failed. So I'm gonna have to complete three things here at the skate park. And the first thing is flat ground. Nice. Wow. I should try a kickflip. Let's see if you can do it in the cross. Alright. First try. Yeah, let's see it. There it is. That felt good. Nice. That was first, first try, try too, yeah. <laughs> Put this down, leads us to our next thing. Drop in. Oh god. Bro, I swear, dropping in is always so scary. First the scooter, now this. I'm gonna freaking die, bro. Oh, nice. Look, like that was too easy. I feel like I gotta do some like Tony Hawk stuff. Yep. Should we carve the bowl? Let's do it. By we, I mean me. Yeah, I don't know why I said let's. You do it. <laughs> My goal is to do that. Yeah. And Crocs. Oh God. All right. That yeah, counts. That was a success. But I feel like you should try something harder for the last one. Just go do exactly that. Should be easy. Oh. Is that a fail? Uh, does it look like a fail? It was a fail. <laughs> well, that leaves us to our last sport. So after failing skateboarding, again, this brings me to the final sport, which is the most extreme sport of them all. I'm gonna see if these Crocs can withstand going over 150 miles per hour in the air. So I got Sean McCormick, one of the best skydivers in the entire world. And we're gonna try to pull that off. Let's do it. And skydiving, you are literally flying through the air. So it is important to have good shoes to make sure they don't fly off. Has anyone ever skydived in Crocs before? That's what I'm aware of. Why is that? Uh, I think they uh, probably think they would fly off. Watch the freaking crocs fly down and hit me in the head. The odds of that. This is the third time I'm putting my Crocs on the line, and I honestly don't know why I continue to do this, but it would be incredible if you guys would subscribe and show me some support, like I'm hoping my Crocs support me as I jump out of this plane. Now, wish me luck. Now, as we were heading towards the ground, all I had to do was successfully land without my Crocs falling off. And if I do this, I will have successfully completed skydiving. The crocs survived! Ha! Some of the most extreme water sports like surfing, water skiing, and diving don't require any shoes at all. But I'm a firm believer that crocs can thrive anywhere. So me and my friends are going to be trying six extreme water sports, but I will only have my crocs to see if they can truly be worn anywhere. Oh yeah. As an added touch, if I fail more sports than I succeed, I'll get launched off this human catapult. What? Oh my god! So the first water sport I'm doing, surfing. Surfing is one of the biggest water sports in the world. And now I'm gonna be trying to attempt this in Crocs. I know nothing about surfing. All you gotta do is stand up and ride the wave for at least three full seconds. Oh my god. How many attempts do I get? We'll say three attempts. Wish me luck. Look. So stupid. Oh, these waves are enormous. Uh, you got beat up out there. I think it's very safe to say. I'm horrible. 
I'm surfing. Sadly, I failed my first sport, and I'm gonna need to step it up because each sport is only gonna get harder and harder throughout the video. Now for the remaining sports, I travel across the country to Rush Park, where my good friend Corey will be leading us in the next sport. Diving. Wait, Corey, not yet though. Oh, what? Corey! Oh! Ah! That wasn't even really like a dive. Ah! <laughs> but since everything we're doing today is extreme. Bro, this thing shakes. Yeah. How safe is this? It's just, it's kind of safe. It's like windy up here, like. Yeah, that's how it works. You're in the, you're in the air. Ah! I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh my golly! Look how deep it was here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Did you sign the waiver yet? No, I didn't. I don't either, right? Like, I'm good too. Uh. No way! Woo! No way! Oh! Are you ready? My mom's gonna kill me. Let's go, baby! Wow! After successfully completing diving, it was time to move on to the next sport, wakeboarding. Wakeboarding is a water sport where a rider stands on a wakeboard and is pulled across the water. Because we don't have any waves out here, we have my Honda. I have uh, attached a rope to the wheel here, and I uh, hope it doesn't knock his crops off. Crocs, crocs off. All right, so Corey's gonna show us how this is done. Let's get it. Floor it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Oh! What? That was insane! Back up, Suki. Oh, that one's great. Oh! You got yep. it. Oh my god, this is getting wrecked! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! What? For it. Yes! Woo! Oh my God. Yes! All right, now I gotta try to do that in Crocs. This is so stupid. So. All right, ready? Oh. It literally fell off before he got on the surfboard. I'm not a fan, of, I don't think the Crocs, I'm not a fan. Don't let me die, come on Crocs. Three, two, one, go! Wow, that was horrible. This is like impossible. You ready? <laughs> Yo! He's doing it, he's doing it. Let's go! Oh! I did it! Yeah! Bro, yeah. that was exhilarating. Did the croc survive? <laughs> They're, safe. They're on! Now the next board I'm very excited for because it is a sport that I made up. The human dartboard. In a previous video I created a sport that got recognized by one of the biggest sports platforms, Sports Center. Except now, I'll be trying it in Crocs. The big hole is one point, blue is two, and the little one is bullseye, five points. I can't even fit through that. <laughs> Alright, I'm up. Yep. Go higher. Go higher? Yeah, go to the next one up. I am so scared right now. I got Bambi legs. <laughs> One. You missed it. No. No way. How did he do that so well? Can't let Corey show me up in my own sport. Sport mode, baby. Damn, into sports mode. Here we go. I have to get this. As much as it sucked that Corey pretty much beat me at my own sport, I was just glad my Crocs didn't fall off and I could call this sport a success. It's all that matters. Yeah. So the next sport we're doing, honestly, isn't even really a sport, it's just really fun to watch and that's Wipeout. The objective is to get to the other side of the obstacle course without falling off. I'm gonna be racing one person, 1v1. Hopefully the Crocs help me win this one. Three, two, one, go! So far off to a pretty good start. Wow. Come on, run on water. Or not. This is looking good for me. What the heck? Did you flip the whole trip over? No. It's so hard. You're almost at his time. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, come on, you're so close. Come on, talk it up. Let's... Are you serious? I think it's really safe to say you should never wear Crocs on this. 
After failing miserably at the obstacle course, the next sport is one everyone has seen before, which is the rope swing. Except this rope swing is the most extreme version of it. Oh my God, bro. Buddy, you are insane. Yeah. No way. No! The crack fell off! No! Yep, yep, Bob. Wow! Yo! That was crazy. Yeah! Perfect. 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 Hip. Down. Tap and back flip. Yeah! Okay, so I successfully completed three sports, but I also failed three sports, which technically means I didn't lose or win. But to make this a win for me and a win for you guys watching, I feel it's only fair I do the human catapult anyways. I'm excited for you to go. I'm not, I'm not man. breaking down. I just signed a waiver finally. I'm gonna miss you. Who says that? You know I just realized? Corey's insane. So. Dude, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> bro, my heart is racing right now. You're a smart person. I'm terrified, bro. Why are you so terrified? Bro, why am I here? What am I doing? Now, as I sit here contemplating my life, it would mean a lot if you guys would subscribe, because at the end of the day, I do all of this for you guys. Oh! Now that that's out of the way, wish me luck. In three, oh my God. two, one, get it! On the bright side though, Crocs stayed on. Parkour is one of the most extreme sports in the world. Now the number one thing a parkour athlete depends on is their shoes. This allows them to jump off buildings and literally stick to walls. But I don't have that at all. I just have my Crocs. But I am so confident in these Crocs that I have challenged a pro parkour athlete to compete head to head in their own sport. And one last thing, if I lose to the parkour athlete, I'll never wear Crocs again. Let's get started. Oh, This is Wes. Wes is a professional parkour athlete and he's hopefully gonna teach me everything I need to know. I've been coaching parkour for the last four years, but never anyone in a pair of Crocs. Good luck. We're starting off small. This is a little baby block, but we're gonna do a big boy move. This is called a con. It's an iconic move in parkour. Get your hips up, push, and then run out of it. Yeah! Woo! Let's take it off of the small block. Let's go over to a big block. Too small, too small. Ah! Uh, let's do this one. Yeah! I was floating, bro. Now these tricks may seem basic, but they are only gonna get harder and harder throughout the video. And I must master each and every single one of these to have the best chance at winning the final race. Can you do a backflip? Can you do a backflip off the wall? Let's see it. That was beautiful. What about front flips? You think yeah. you do a front flip over Nick? All right, Nick, bend over. I don't think Nick is enough. Out in the real world, we don't have spring floors. So uh, I'm gonna have you do that to the hard ground. An average person would probably break their ankles on this. Wow. So in theory, I jump off this, I land, my ankles don't explode, and my crocs don't break. Yeah. In theory. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The next thing you're gonna learn is how to do a precision jump. Land on the balls of your feet, called sticking a jump. In my experience, this is where we have probably the most injuries is in this area of the gym. Started with a real baby. Wow. Yeah. Just a little bit more of a drop. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh. Now the real test to see if these crocs are worth your time. We're gonna do the big jump. Take what we learned over here, and what we learned over there, and we're gonna mix them together. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do some precision flips. So you're gonna do the same exact flip as me and land on that red block right there. What like a level of parkour is this? It's pretty advanced. <laughs> I, mean, I would not recommend anyone do this in Crocs. I'm like actually shaking, I'm pretty nervous. Now I've been pretty confident with everything I've done so far, but if I don't execute this perfectly, this could end very badly. The next thing we're gonna do is learn how to climb up some walls just like Spider-Man. Love the sound of that. 
You see that bar right there? The way we're gonna reach that bar is pretty much by running, kicking off of this wall right here and shooting ourselves all the way up to that bar. This is by far the most common place that people's heels shoot out of their shoes. I don't have heels in my shoes. Let's see how those heels look. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh! <laughs> Big pop! Yes! yes. Yeah. Woo. You ever seen the show American Ninja Warrior? Yes. You ever heard of a warped wall? The final obstacle? We have one. Oh wow. Warped wall. 14 and a half feet of wall that is warped. <laughs> now, <laughs> nice. You're gonna need some speed. A few good steps and as soon as you feel like you can make that final jump, take one last leap. Reach up for the top and hold on. If I get this first try, you put my Crocs on and try it. Alright. you just spit on the bottom of your Crocs? No. Oh, yeah! I'd make this first try. You have to lick one of these Crocs from bottom to top. Hey, they're so gross! Shake on it. I'm never kissing you again. Yeah, I'm not kissing you ever again either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I'll be courteous. You only have to lick the croc symbol right here. Oh, hell. We've been doing a lot of flashy moves, but this one is more about endurance. So we're gonna have you hanging on the wall and just see how long you can hang for. You hang on this side, I'll hang on this side. See uh, who can hang longer. Three, two, one. Oh, this isn't too bad. You're hanging on? I'm hanging on. Can you do some pull-ups? Like, what if I just say, like, we have to pull it up? No way. What about hanging on with one arm? No way. Please. Yeah. What if Dude, I just my get... lats are burnt. No way. I can't do it. Respect. Yeah. You're doing That's it. why you be a pro. Now that you've mastered the cat hang, we're gonna swing on this bar, launch ourselves towards this wall, and land in a cat hang. How about you go first on this one? All right. Yeah, you do it. What? That was incredible. Thank you. Since we're up here, the next thing you're gonna learn is one of the hardest things, and that is bar walks. So you're gonna go ahead and take a step down onto this bar and just kind of cruise around. Well, there's no way in hell I can do that in class. Absolutely not. You got it. Oh, my body like physically won't let me go. I'm the papa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you did it. Okay. Dude, my knees are shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Why was that? You did it. So the last thing you're gonna learn is one of the most iconic things in all of parkour. That is a huge leap from a building down to the ground. This bad boy right here is the tallest point in the gym. And we're gonna launch ourselves. All the way down to that blue bag. How many, how many feet is this you said? It's a lot of feet up, but it's also a lot of feet out. I will definitely let you go first. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna be a lot of air time. So when you're midair, the only requirement is you have to say a catchphrase. Okay. okay. What do you say? Yippee! That is insane. <laughs> what if I slip before I even take off? Please don't. Long paperwork. I'm literally putting my life on the line for these videos, and now literally my shoes on the line. Hmm, debatably more important. So it would mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. Oh! That was a banging catch rate. I like that. After completing my last and final skill, it was time to put all my training to the test, my Crocs on the line, and go head to head with a pro parkour athlete. Now I couldn't think of a better person than the man who taught me it all, James Bond. Was that? We couldn't get James Bond? Right. Well, we got the next best thing, Wes. We're not in the gym anymore, Drew. We are in a real parkour environment. So in our course, we've got precisions, we've got balance walks, we've got vaults, and of course, we've got a big drop at the end. And there's <laughs> no pads, we just got grass, and we got concrete, so uh, good luck. Oh, my, my.
57 Damn. seconds. 57, okay. That was so impressive. Now it's your turn. All right, everything has led up to this moment. All I have to do is beat one of the best parkour athletes in the world while wearing Crocs. What the hell did I get myself into? So I threw these bad girls in sport mode and made my way to the starting point. Ready, set, go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. No, yeah, well, well, it was pretty good though, right? <laughs> Oh, what's the time? I'm sorry to tell you this. You got 102. 102! That means it's my last day wearing Crocs. No, well, here's the thing. You honestly did way better than a lot of people that I know that do parkour actively. Actually, so I think you should keep the Crocs for now. Honestly, I might even pick up a pair and Really? The hardest sports in the world all require a very specific footwear. But as you guys know, I only wear Crocs. It's been my mission over the past year to prove that Crocs are the best shoe money can buy. So I'm going to be trying five of the world's hardest sports in Crocs. And if I fail more than I succeed, I'll never wear Crocs again. Again. You know the drill. For the first sport, I'm gonna be trying boxing. In boxing, you not only have to be fast with your hands, but you have to be quick on your feet. Just one wrong step, and you can walk straight into this. I don't know why people don't wear Crocs, because you feel so like light on your feet. You're gonna find out really soon. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to throw a left. Like, actually throw it though, don't be afraid. Oh, okay, give me a right. All right, let's put those together. Twist the body, use those Crocs, man. Good. I felt it in my shoes. So now we're gonna do a combo that's a bit harder on your feet. You're gonna throw these two punches, and then I'm gonna throw a punch to your face, and I need you to move to your right. What if I don't move? You're gonna get hit in the face. <laughs> okay. Bro, I, your hand was coming in quick. All right, dude, you were good in the offense. Now let's see how good you're in defense. I'm gonna throw some punches, and you're gonna try not to get punched in the face. Awesome. Keep me in the face. Boom. Oh, wow. That's a slip. I'm gonna throw you a punch, and I need you to move outside of the punch. Boom. If I hit you with this, go the outside. How do you know, like, which person's gonna throw what hand? You see it. That, but, but what if it's really fast? You see it. <laughs> that's, that's... Ready? Oh, dude, wrong. I, I already got hit in the face. You see it? Okay. Good. Slip. Nice. For the final test, I'm gonna put a minute on the clock, and I'm gonna try and punch you in the face. If you don't get punched in the face, you succeed. All right, Drew, one minute on the clock. Hope you don't die. Ready, go. Time, boy, time. Oh, that was a pretty good job, man. I have a heart attack. <laughs> so my Crocs may have held up in boxing, but it was time to move on to the next sport, which is trampoline. This trampoline is 10 times bouncier and is more dangerous than your everyday trampoline. It has so much power that with just one wrong step, you could fly right off it. So the first thing you're gonna do is get acquainted with the trampoline. So I want you to jump as high as you can and do a backflip. Oh my God. I often you see people wearing Crocs on here. You might be the first. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> you get a lot of height off of that. Yeah. I think that looked a little too easy for you. Next, let's try a double layout. What? So you're gonna do a double backflip with your body completely extended. How many people fall on this trick? I don't know if I want to disclose that info. <laughs> Does my shoe fly off? Easy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> What? So a lot of times in the sport of trampolines, you're gonna have to land on your stomach or other parts of your body and then get back to your feet. So next, whatever skill you want to, onto your stomach, onto your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks cool. great. Cool. How do people scorpion? Again, don't want to disclose that information. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next challenge, another really popular one, we will go from our back to our feet. What? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> 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 
safe to say you've mastered a lot of this already. Like, that's crazy, dude. Now, with my confidence high after succeeding in two sports, I was more than ready for the next sport. Football. In football, the shoes you wear are arguably the most important part because they allow you to juke out players, kick a field goal, and allow you to score a touchdown. Football is my favorite sport, so better believe I'm not going easy on you at all. <sighs> Bro, that guy's sprinting. Which brings me to the very first thing you're going to learn. Old fashioned cardio, Drew. I want you to run the field next to that guy. <laughs> he looks really fast. Woo! Keep it up. Ow, that hurt like a... Oh, like I'm bad. It's actually pretty cool. I made friends with him. I'm going to tell you. He didn't say anything. <laughs> now that you're done with endurance, we're going to mix in a bit of agility. First one's going to be sprints. I want you to cut back at each of these three lines. It's going to look something like this. Good luck in those <laughs> And go. <laughs> now give me 10 push-ups for falling. 10 push-ups. Right. <sighs> now that your legs are warmed up, let's move on to the next thing. Catching. Now in order to do that, you need to be as quick on your feet as possible. And most importantly, Drew, catch that ball. See how the crocs hold up? And go. <laughs> Get me off this field. And just like that, I failed my first sport, which made me a little nervous going into the next sport, which is one of the hardest things I will ever try in Crocs. Slack lining, but not just normal slack lining, the hardest version of it. This slack line is in between two mountains with a massive drop below it. You don't want to hang on tight out here, my friend. You don't want to fall. What happens if you fall? Just don't. This is a terrible idea. All right, Drew, let's start off with something easy, my friend. I'm gonna have you just walk across the line. Oh my God, dude, what am I doing, dude? Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> my legs are actually shaking. Yeah, I need you to stop that immediately. Oh my gosh, bro. Why am I wearing Crocs up here? Oh, bro, why is it so loose? I might have made the overhead line a little too loose. Oh my God. Oh my God. Almost there. Oh my God. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, bro. You want to make it a little bit crazier? Not really. So how about I give you a challenge? I need you to walk out to the middle first, and then I'll tell you what it is. Awesome. I just barely made this the first time. Oh. Dangling over a mountain. Drew, what if I pay you $1,000 for every second you stand up there? Every second? How many seconds do you think you'll get? I'm about to make 10K right here. Give it your best. All right. Three. Two, one. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Oh! <laughs> All right, so that was the absolute worst possible way I could have felt. But as you guys can see, I'm literally putting my kids on the line for these videos. So in return, it would just mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. I think I got one second, that's like a thousand dollars. I have my fingers crossed, I was just joking. Thanks, man. Now with having succeeded and failed at two of the world's hardest sports, it was time to put my Crocs on the line and move on to the last and final sport. Trampoline dunking. Oh my god! Trampoline dunking is where multiple people in a row will jump off a trampoline and try to slam a basketball into the hoop. First things first, you need to try to jump off the trampoline and touch the rim. Can you do it? We'll see. Oh my god! That was way further than I thought. Now pretend that you have a fake ball. Jump in the air, clap, and touch the rim. Now that we have warmed up, yep. In this sport, the harder you hit the rim, the more impressive it is. That sounds okay. just painful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man, it's so much easier without the ball. Did I hit the rim hard enough? Does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts really bad. Then you hit it hard enough. Okay, good. <laughs> the next thing you need to learn is how to pass it to me, so I can uh, pass it to you. It should look like this. Oh my. <laughs> I almost hit myself in the face. Way harder than I thought, I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's try one. We're just going yeah. into it? Yeah. Do you think I can get this basketball dunk? Yeah, yeah you can. <laughs> let's go. I'm going to make that basket so I could go home. Do it. Matter of fact, let me record. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. The last thing you're gonna do is dunking off my pass. Alright. 
Crocs did it. So after putting my Crocs through five of the hardest sports in the world, I'm very confident saying Crocs are the best shoes in the world. I've tried every sport you can imagine in Crocs, from skydiving to cliff jumping, and I honestly thought I was done trying sports in Crocs until these bad boys came out. The Yellow Mischief Croc Boots. These shoes have gone viral for looking absolutely ridiculous. So, like any logical person, I bought a pair. Bro. Bro, these look insane. What are you even wearing right now? Look at these things. You look like you're wearing like Swiss cheese on your feet. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these bad boys to the test, starting from easy everyday sports, working my way up to the most extreme sports. As an added touch, if I fail more sports than I succeed, I'll burn these $500 pair of Crocs with a flamethrower. Safely, safely YouTube. Now the first sport of the day is soccer. First thing I'm gonna try to do is just dribble. Bro. <laughs> no way. No way you did that. Bro, I got dribbling down. But the next thing, the penalty kick. Now I'll try it a bit further back. Drew Vinalno. Now to put it to the real test, you're gonna be goalie and I got a score on you. Bring it on, buddy. On top of it, if you stop my kick, I'll pay you hundred bucks. All right, bet. All right, Nick, you ready? Oh, I'm ready, baby, bring it on. Here we go. <laughs> Twisted your ankle. Hey, you're gonna try to kick it in now. I got you. Boom. Woo! You didn't have to use my hand. All right, for the final challenge, we're gonna have a 1v1 face off. All right, let's do it. Whoever scores a goal first wins. Soccer's a success. For you. <laughs> now I may have successfully completed soccer, but the sports are only gonna get harder and harder throughout the video. Leading us to our next sport, skateboarding. Bro, do I look like someone from the future? No. What do I look like? An idiot. You <laughs> they don't even fit. So I feel like the first thing I do is ride around, right? Yep. All right, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so hard to stay on the board. I think I'm getting the hang of it, man. You got it, bro. All right. Second thing, ride up this, clear that, ride this, jump off the end. Good luck. See how it goes. Oh. Wow. Bro. Oh. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Sport mode still works. Wait, you got that, didn't you? You just nailed that. I just did that. Yeah, you just did that. <laughs> What the hell? I just did that. I was so focused on the shoe BMS, I didn't realize I did that. If you guys have ever watched any of these croc videos before, skateboarding is a one. Pretty much always fail. Like that. You all good? I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me. I also feel like go big or go home. So I'm gonna try to ride up this, jump these stairs, in theory. Here we go. <laughs> Way more speed to do that. How many tries do I get? Three. <laughs> One more. Come on, boots. Oh, it's impossible. I can't get like any speed or traction in these shoes. So never skate in these. Now I have successfully completed and failed a sport, but I wasn't going to think about flame throwing these bad boys just yet because it was time to level up to Olympic sports. The first one being weightlifting. What's first? I think we're gonna do some squats. How many reps? 20. 20? Dude, my feet have no balance right now. From the hands of a god, I hear my mind lift. Born in the heart of the fire that rose out of it. That wasn't too bad. Now you're warmed up. We're gonna move to the harder one. <laughs> oh my god. Holy! This is heavy. I'm a freaking Olympian. I'm gonna crap my pants if I keep going at this. <laughs> you get 10 reps total. We can move on. Oh god, I'm gonna fall. I know the correct form, <laughs> but they look cool. All right, how many do I have to do for this to count? Well, since this one's kind of hard, only three. Okay. Hundred. Three. Hundred. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, 
not gonna lie, these things gave me that extra cushion on the bottom. Now with weightlifting being a success, it was time to move on to the second Olympic sport, which is one I was honestly very eager to try in these shoes. Gymnastics. Now gymnastics has six events. Rings, vault, pommel horse, parallel bars, floor, and high bar. And if I fail any of these events, I fail the entire sport of gymnastics. That one doesn't really involve my feet too much. Some of these next ones will. It's time for the rings. I'm hoping they don't fall off. <laughs> Good now, dude. Maybe these shoes are helping me. Time for P-bars. <laughs> you barely fit through that. Okay. Oh, you landed like right here and I'm like standing <laughs> right here. Ready for high bar? Get it. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That was gnarly. This is just gonna get real because I one have to sprint in these boots, punch off this, hit the vault, and hopefully these things don't fly off. Yeah! <laughs> wow. No way. These things ain't half too bad. But now it's time for the one that involves the feet the most. Floor. But since the floor is currently preoccupied right now, I'm gonna step it up to this. Because the whole floor is a trampoline. So I'm gonna flip all the way down this trampoline floor, do as many flips as I can, and do my final trick right here onto the floor. So this will be a true test. Please. Oh God. No way. Now, even though I was able to successfully complete both Olympic sports, the shoes were starting to take a toll on my legs. It's literally taken all of the hair and skin off my shins with this. Dude, you're not supposed to sleep in that man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Megan. I don't want to talk. Five hundred dollars. No way. Now, even though I was embarrassed to tell Jake how much the shoes cost, <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to say that we just hit two million freaking subscribers. And if you guys want to see me try more things like this, hit that subscribe button. So, it was time to move on to extreme sports that solely rely on your feet, starting with extreme tag. And I'm going to be going up against a real professional tag athlete, Wes. Howdy. How long were you back there? Uh, a few hours. Wow. Okay. The objective is you have 20 seconds to outrun the other person without being tagged. You gentlemen ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's coming. Shit. No way. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. But can you tag me? faster than I take. Probably you. not, but I'm gonna really try. I sure hope not, not in those. If I beat you in these. Are you in a professional? Are you starting there? Yeah. yeah. You're making it easy for me. Yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Alright guys, I did fail this. Any advice though in the future? Yeah, don't wear those. Although it sucked feeling at something that might sound as simple as tag, I still wasn't going to let my brand new croc boots be Oppenheimer. So it was time to give it all I had in the final extreme sport. Parkour. <laughs> Alright Drew, last thing. We're gonna do a real parkour run. I'm gonna go first, then you're gonna try and beat my time in those blocks of Big ol' yellow cheese. <laughs> if I beat your time, you gotta wear those to a real parkour competition. To a competition? <laughs> Get yourself a deal. Let's do it, baby. Big drop. I don't see him beating that, but we'll see. I needed to successfully complete this run without falling because I can't accept completing three sports, but also failing three sports. I need a clear win. So unless I'm willing to melt these cheese blocks with a flamethrower, I needed to successfully complete this run without falling.
Nick. I hate to break it to you, but you got 27 seconds and he got 25. No way! It would still kind of be funny if I did, did a cop on those though. Guys, everyone comment down below that Wes should wear these in a parkour competition. One of these up, times dude? I'll get you. Not if you keep wearing stuff like this. You're right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.